Hello everyone, it's Dave from Model Making and Dave's Workshop. Yeah, I'm still here, I'm still around. I've been away, but the reason why I've been away is because I bought a 3D printer and I've been playing with that quite a lot and having a lot of fun, a little bit of frustration and scratch my head to work out how I've got to use the thing. Um, still trying to work out how I can incorporate that into the world of model making i'm making slow progress um it's one of those things it's just going to take a little bit of time to work it through so yeah that's kind of why i dropped off not doing any videos because i was a little bit busy with uh doing the 3d printing stuff anyway i thought i would do a video for the channel and do a quick update so that you guys know what I've been doing. So here we go. I'm going to change the camera angle and we're going to have a look at the desk. Yeah, that, that thing down here. Yeah, yeah, down here, down here. Come on, sort it out. Right, back in the moat. Right, so we're looking down on the bench. Let's have a little bit more light so I can see what's going on. Ooh, that's better. Right, what have I been up to? Well, I've been playing around with a printout for a cobbled wall and I admit I got this one completely wrong it's not anywhere near thick enough not long enough and the quality of the printout is not perfect so I'm still toying around with this in Tinkercad to see where I can get to and try and make it look a bit dinked and dented because This is the vignette that I'm doing for the figures and the cobbles that you see here have all been cast in uh, plaster of Paris and I've not really worried about whether the they've come out correctly because it gives me the the damage and the, the and the roughness of cobblestones. So that's where that is at the moment. Put that over there. Uh, I'm, again, I'm still toying with this and playing around with it. So we'll see where we get to when I have another go. Um, this is a, a little D&D &D figure that I've printed off. And I've primed, so it'd be interesting to see what you guys think of it because I'm looking at it and it looks okay to me. It's been done at 200% uh, and I am actually going to do another one of these, uh, something like around about five, 600% and hopefully get an even better figure because I've had a look at it and, and the gaiters around the boots that he's got here are... Not very defined in this figure, but as I blow it up and go to a bigger percentage, more detail starts to come out in this figure. So it could be interesting. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with that. Um, the kit that I've kind of been working on recently is this one as he gets his tea out of the way. It's a nice little kit. Um, don't know who KP models are, never heard of them before, but it's not it's not a bad kit. It's it's got its quirks to it because there's no numbering system on any of the sprues. You've got um, a sprue map on, on the instructions. So yeah, it's a bit of fun and games. It's a slightly different way of doing things. Oh, excuse me. But the detail that is on the kit is very good. I don't. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see that. Um, panel lines are not too deep, although quite probably might have to maybe make them a little bit deeper so that um, once all the paint and everything else has gone on, it's still there. Um, yeah, I've just been slowly working away on this one, not um, 
with any great speed or, or, or panic to get it done because it's been something that I've been doing in between the furkling and sodding about on um, on the printer. So we're going to move forward on that. The only thing that you don't get in the kit is a pilot figure. So this is one that I've got out the Greebly's box. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I had to cut his legs off. He did scream a little bit, but he's all right now. Um, and doing a little bit of work on the internal cockpit. I've done some edge highlighting. I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of um, of aluminium in a couple of places, mainly on the corners and, and the edges, just to give it a little bit more of a, a used, abused, weathered look. Um, I think I'll put some weathering pigments ooh, steady on the floor just to make it look a little bit dirty. But I, d I genuinely don't think you're going to see very much of it once it goes in. But hey, he knows that I, I know that I've done it. So, um, so that's that. Now, um, if you saw the Sprue Crew show last night that we did, um, I'm along with Colin and Reese. We're going to be doing a buddy build on the Ruvel 135th in my case and 124th in Colin and Reese's cases we're going to be doing a buddy build of this so it's going to be interesting um, it's going to be a live buddy build so not quite sure of the timings um, I know it's going to be the last weekend in October that we're going to be doing this um, what timings and, and how we're going to do it, I think we we need to get together and, and have a chat and iron out those last little um, bits and pieces. So, yeah, but keep your eyes peeled. Something will get posted up either by myself or by Colin or by both of us. So, yeah, could be fun. Because it's going to be waltz and all. You're going to see all of the mistakes. You're going to see all the issues that come along. So, yeah, come and see how we get on with it. Right. Um, is there anything else that I was going to go over? Um, no, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, it, it was just a, a quick update. Just to let you know what I've been up to. Um, what I'm doing. Oh, the... Um, Russian grad build. It's still on the back burner. It's on the table over to my right. I will start getting back into it, but I don't know when. I, I was going to start thinking about maybe the end of October for getting back into it, but then we had this bright idea of doing this Huey helicopter and then do a buddy build and then make the buddy build live and yeah it kind of snowballed so it's still on the back burner um i think he's probably going to be there now until sometime in the new year but it's still there um i will get back to it and um, we can get that one finished off so i think all in all i think that's as much as i want to go over um it just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching if you haven't done so, then please subscribe. Hit the, um, the the bell so that you get the notifications as to when I post stuff up. And um, yeah, that, that's it. So it just leaves me to say, I'll catch you in the next one.